In this video we will set up SQL Server for Busy Accounting Software. For this you should have already set up Busy Accounting Software in your PC. If you have not set up Busy find link of our video how to set up Busy Accounting Software in description or at the end of video. After setting up Busy Accounting Software you will need to set up SQL Server to use MS SQL Database type in Busy Accounting Software. We will set up SQL Server 2008 R2 using ISO file. You can find link of SQL Server 2008 R2 ISO file in description of video. First download it from link. Double click on it to unmount it as DVD in Windows 8, 10, 11 or newer version of Windows. If you are using Windows 7 you have to extract it using 7-zip, WinRAR or any other archiver that supports ISO file. Now open unmounted or extracted files. Double click on setup file to open it. If prompted for administrator access click on yes or type administrator password if required then click on yes. Setup will load in few moments. If you want to check software and hardware requirements and documentation of this software for setup you can click on these to check as per your requirement. We will skip this part. Click on installation to continue. We want to install for first time so we will click on new installation or add features to an existing installation. Wait some time while setup support rules are checked. Click on show details to check if all test operations are passed. After confirmation click on OK. Wait for process to complete. Now you will need to provide product key if it is not autofill. You can try using key in this video. In our case it has been autofill. So click on next. Tick on I accept the license terms. If you want you can tick on second option too. Click on next to continue. Wait until setup support files are prepared for setup. Again we will have setup support rules check. Out of 11, 10 check are passed and 1 have warning and failed checks are 0. Click on next to continue. By default SQL server feature installation is selected. Click on next. In this window we will select features that we want to install. We want to install all features so click on select all. Leave shared feature directory and shared feature directory x86 as it is. Click on next to continue. Now installation rules will be checked. After checking is complete, click on next. Leave instance id to default instance id. Also leave root directory as it is. Click on next. In this window disk space is checked. You can see available space is more than required space so we can continue. Click on next. Now we will do server configuration. Follow this step carefully as in case of ROM selection busy data may not work as expected. In SQL server agent select account name NT authority slash network service. In SQL server database engine select account name NT authority slash network service. In SQL Server Analysis Service, select account name, NT Authority slash Local Service. In SQL Server Reporting Service, select account name, NT Authority slash Local Service. In SQL Server Integration Services 10.0, select account name, NT Authority slash Network Service, if any other option is selected. In Startup Type check if all selections are as per our video. Now change, Startup Type, for, SQL Server Browser, to Automatic. Recheck again all selections and click on next to continue. Now we will set up database engine configuration. In authentication mode, select mixed mode. In enter password, type a password that will be required to configure SQL Server 2008 R2 in busy accounting software. Enter same password in confirm password. Make note of this password and do not forget it. Now click on add. Click on advance. Click on find now. Scroll and find everyone. Select everyone and click on OK. Again click on OK. Click on next to continue. In this window we will configure analysis services for SQL server. Click on add. Click on advance. Click on find now. Scroll and find everyone. Select everyone and click on OK. Again click on OK. Click on next to continue. 
In Reporting Services Configuration, make sure Install the Native Mode Default Configuration is selected. Click on Next to continue. In Error Reporting, click and Next and continue. In Installation Configuration Rules, rules will be checked. Click on Show Details to see details. Click on Next to proceed. Now we are ready to install. Click on Install. Now it will take around 25 to 30 minutes for installation to complete. Just wait for it. We will skip waiting part. Now you will get message that your SQL Server 2008 R2 installation completed successfully. Click on close. That's all. Now we have successfully set up SQL Server for busy accounting software. In next video we will learn how to configure SQL Server in busy accounting software. Subscribe channel for more.